Hi friends, we are starting a face to face offline batch in Bangalore with SS Academy. That is for CA final financial reporting paper number one. I yeah, will be taking exactly two months from 1st November to 31st December. We will complete it. It is starting from 1st November 2022. Yes, and in Jayanagara branch of SS Academy, we have morning batch and evening batch will be at Seshadripuram SS Academy. Right. And if the student is missing because of any reasons, right, they are going to get a backup class. All right, we'll ensure that their things, I mean, they will study and complete. And from the face to face batch, you know the benefits out of it. We'll be completing the syllabus in time. You don't need to postpone and you don't need to compromise for your goals. See you in the class. Please share this information with your friends. That will help me and as well. Thank you. Next, for my books, that is an index made easy, our financial reporting made easy, and fast track summary book. Yes, you can uh, order in ravikanthmiriala.com or you can contact the given number for the books. Right. For your for your doubts, clarification, please join the Telegram group, Indias Discussion Group, RKM. Yeah, let's look at Indias 10 events occurring after the balance sheet date or reporting date. Yeah, events means only significant events. After the reporting date, yes, after the balance sheet date, till the board of directors approve the financial statements. Yeah, these significant events which are taking place between the balance sheet date and the board's approval date are going to be classified into two types that is adjusting event and non-adjusting events. Remember, these events can be favorable or unfavorable. It's not like only unfavorable events are supposed to be accounted for and not the favorable. No, that's wrong concept. Both, whether it is favorable to the entity or unfavorable to the entity, it has to be considered. Yeah, as I said, these significant events are classified into two. One is adjusting events, next is non adjusting event. Okay, if it is adjusting event, what do you do? We will be adjusting it in the last current year. Yeah, say current year financially, you are preparing the financial statements for 21 22. Then we'll go back and record it as on 31st March 2022. Yeah, sir, if it is non adjusting, we'll record it in 2022 23 financial year that is in the next financial year we will be recording okay what is adjusting adjusting are these are the conditions or situations these are the conditions or situations which are existing on the balance sheet date so that means on the balance sheet date it may be already an asset to me or it may be a liability to me i mean asset in the sense where it is receivable to me or where it is payable by me and subsequent events that is taking place after balance sheet date are giving more information or clarity about those situations or conditions which were already there on the balance sheet date. I repeat, situation that right, subsequent events that is after 31st March are giving more information or more clarity regarding those situations or conditions which were already lying on 31st March. Okay. Right. Since it is a for additional information and as you have not completed, as you have not closed the books of account, why can't you consider it accordingly, adjust your errors or suppose you have recorded some provision for 100 crore. But subsequent information is giving a clarity, no, my liability was not 100, my liability was 125. Then go back and increase the provision by 25. Yeah. So that is what you can go back and record. Suppose on 31st March, we did not make any provision. Why? Because, there, okay, with respect to a legal case. Why? Because my lawyer told we, we are going to win the case. Okay, fine. But subsequently, the result is against. The judgment came against the company. We ended up paying 10 crore rupees of penalty and etc. So, subsequent event is telling that very clearly it is telling that your lawyer's judgment or your judgment was wrong which you did it on 31st March. So 
since books of account are not closed why can't you go back and correct yourself now make a provision as on 31st march itself okay right and if it is a non adjusting event yeah non adjusting event and if it is significant where the management feels that we are supposed to give information to the members of the company you should disclose the same thing in the notes to financial statements you should disclose the same thing in the notes to financial statements not in the board of directors report in accounting standard we will say board of directors report but in indias it is supposed to be under financial statements notes to financial statements we are supposed to disclose it got it right and there are some few exceptions what is the few exception exception means exception to the above, above accounting yeah so suppose there is an event which is purely non adjusting yeah that means it should be recorded in 2022 23 financial year but yeah if it is affecting the if it is affecting the going concern assumption of the entity subsequently something happened like covid took place wherein we are closing my company only right under that circumstance which is affecting the going concern assumption even though it is purely non adjusting event but you should consider it as an adjusting event and prepare your balance sheet as on 31st march 2022 I repeat prepare your balance sheet as on 31st march 2022 following nrv method and if there is any gain or loss book it immediately on 31st march 2022 to profit and loss book it in the profit and loss right and one more example proposed dividend yeah proposed dividend was not a liability on 31st march proposed dividend was not liability on 31st march because as per the, there is no liability there is no rule regulation that company has to pay dividend to the people it is a purely non adjusting it is not an exception list purely non adjusting you can give information in the notes because it is obviously significant right and there is a small carve out yeah what is the carve out if there is any long, if there is any long term borrowing there is a long term borrowing and there are covenants attached to it that is terms and conditions as on 31st march 2022 our company did not satisfy the covenants okay because i did not satisfy the covenant the lender has a right to come and collect money from me immediately on 31st march yeah lender has got the right to collect from the company immediately on 31st march okay strictly speaking i was liable to pay on that date you are liable to pay in the sense that is a current liability strictly speaking it should be presented as a current liability but our standard indias has taken a carve out yeah what is that carve out even though it is current liability but if the company management has approached the lender and got the permission of the waiver of this i mean waiver of this what is this he is accepting the uh, accepting not satisfying the covenant right that is before 30, before board of directors approval date if the management could get the letter from the lender then strictly speaking it was a current liability but considering the carve out we will be presenting it as non current in the sense as if this covenant breaking i mean breach of covenant a breach of terms and condition did not take place as if breach of covenants did not happen only will be accounting for okay right these are all some more summary information yeah few points i can say right you have negotiated to purchase another company as on 31st march but really acquisition took place in the month of june but negotiation will not bind anybody it is a purely non adjusting event but it is a non adjusting right and it's non adjusting and it is material that's why it should be disclosed in the notes to financial statements yeah you received check dated 31st march but received on 1st april check dated 31st march but received on 1st april correct it's purely non adjusting correct na when you receive the check that day only you have the control over the check till that time of receipt you don't have a control of cash that's why it should be recorded in 22 23 but not in 21 22 even though check dated 31st march 
okay right you received a fresh notice after 31st march yeah with respect to something generally you should look at mistake happened when yeah it cannot be answered so simply mistake happened when mistake happened in the 22 20, i mean 21 23 then it is adjusting no sir mistake happened in the next year then it is obviously non adjusting you should look at the mistake happened where not the notice date okay right so suppose we have lost some cash cash theft took place when in the month of january you found it in the month of april or june sometime before closing the books of account okay then it is adjusting that actually loss of money already took place we were not aware of it subsequent event is giving me information arebos you lost already money that's why it is adjusting event done any legal case pending as on 31st march correct i gave an example subsequently we got a judgment it may be favorable judgment or unfavorable judgment but subsequently suppose example you made a provision of 100 subsequently you closed the liability by paying only 75 crores then go back and reduce it the provision by 25 crore or it is we ended up paying 125 then increase the provision by 25 right if you feel this is helpful to you please share it with your friends and as well as give a like and comment that will be an encouragement so that i will continue doing such kind of videos as many as possible